Right, I was faced with this problem that I wanted to be able to get into my garage without my keys. And I have this ancient garage door opener that still works perfectly well and I didn't want to replace it and finding information online about how to uh, install a keypad outside my garage was basically non-existent. Um, and I didn't feel like buying a hundred dollar keypad and trying to figure out how to make it work. Um, the only way into my garage from outside is this. I don't know if you can see that there's a key, which I got to keep with me. And that would let me open the garage door from outside, but then I have to have my keys with me all the time, which is really annoying on my bike rides. So what I did was uh, I ran a, another pair of wires out from the button down to my basement. And I'll show you what it does. Get my iPhone. This uh, application here, Skata Mobile, I was able to uh, write a little Modbus script where I have an open garage coil and I hit the button. Opens my garage door. Pretty handy. Same thing. Close it too. Now the way this works is I ran a, another pair of wires from the button and I sloppily ran it across my garage and into my basement. And I'll show you that in a second. Alright, and then that pair of wires comes down to my basement handily through this drop ceiling, which actually is pretty horrible, but uh, comes in handy for this. And the wire goes down into this PLC right here, which I got free at like a seminar thing at work. And what it does is the the PLC can respond to Modbus commands, and that app I showed you can write Modbus commands. So it uses the Wi-Fi in my house to send the Modbus command through the Wi-Fi into my router down to that switch into the PLC over Ethernet, and the Modbus command comes from my iPhone into the PLC. PLC closes those two wires together, opens the garage door. Uh, I can expand on this when I want to use another set of contacts to uh, disarm the alarm on my house, and I can use another set to uh, give me a status back if the alarm is set or not set, which is kind of handy because then you could be laying in bed and you could uh, arm your alarm on your house and then check and see if it is armed. And if I wanted to, I could actually port this through the router and see it online. And you could be at work and see if your alarm is set or not. And you know, if you wanted to, you can open your garage door from work if, uh, I don't know, your wife was locked out of the house or something like that. Kind of handy. I can expand on it. I probably will.